wrist pain causes and prevention wrist pain is a common condition with various causes the wrist joint plays a role in basic movements from texting to writing when pain occurs it can interfere with day-to-day -day activities and even impact a person's quality of life the wrist is not one joint instead it's made up of several small joints or the bones of the hand and forearm meet. Wrist pain can develop due to a sudden impact or injury. For example, a wrist sprain can cause pain if a ligament is overstretched. This type of wrist pain usually comes on suddenly when the injury occurs. Here we will explore the common causes symptoms and prevention. What causes wrist pain? Pain may occur for many reasons, whether simple fatigue or an underlying issue. Commonly injuries to the wrist are the main cause. Squashing the nerves that, that pass through the wrist can also produce pain. The most common causes include the following. Carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a condition that develops when a ligament thickens and puts pressure on a nerve. The nerve is squeezed, which can cause pain, numbness and weakness in the hand. People who are obese or those who have diabetes or arthritis are at an increased risk of developing carpal tunnel syndrome. The condition is also linked with repetitive work with involves lifting, typing or using equipment that vibrates the hand. Osteoarthritis Osteoarthritis causes inflammation of the joints and occurs when the cartilage that covers the bones wears away. The condition can affect a wide range of joints including the wrist Osteoarthritis of the wrist tends to occur most often in people who are middle-aged or older and those with a family history of the condition. Rheumatoid Arthritis Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease where healthy tissues are broken down by the body's immune system. This can cause wrist pain if the joints in the area are affected. Dequarvain's Disease in this condition, tendons and their coverings on the thumb side of the wrist become inflamed and swell. The exact cause is not known, but it is often associated with an injury to the area or overuse. Symptoms include a grating feeling inside the wrist, swelling and weakness along the wrist, forearm and thumb. Repetitive motion syndrome. As the name suggests, repeat, repetitive motion syndrome occurs from repeat, repeating a task over and over again, such as typing or knitting. Overworking the joint can cause it to swell, putting pressure on the surrounding nerves. It can affect many joints in the body, including the wrist. Triangular fibrocartilage complex injury. The triangular fibrocartilage is located on the pinky side of the wrist. It acts as a cushion and support for the small bones. The cartilage can wear away over time or tear due to an injury. Wrist tendonitis. Wrist tendonitis can occur when the tendons of the wrist develop small tears or become irritated and inflamed. The condition usually occurs due to repetitive movement involving the wrist. Wrist bursitis. Bursa are small fluid filled sacs that help cushion joints. When this become inflamed, it is referred to as bursitis. This can occur in many areas of the body, including the wrist. Symptoms include tenderness over the tendons of the wrist, redness in the region, and swelling. 
ganglion cyst. This cause of wrist pain is due to fluid filled soft tissue cysts that often develop on the wrist opposite opposite the palm but will occur on the palmar aspects aspect of the wrist smaller cyst often tend to hurt more than large cyst wrist sprain according to the american society for surgery of the hand a wrist sprain is usually caused by falling and bending the wrist backward when the hand hits the ground this movement overstretches the ligament symptoms of wrist pain wrist pain symptoms can vary depending on the cause some people may have pain that they describe as achy or dull others may have pain that is sharp the location of the pain can also vary in addition to pain other symptoms may develop symptoms of an injury such as a wrist sprain can include swelling and bruising numbness tingling and weakness of the hand might also occur when pain is due to a carpal tunnel syndrome some people may develop the following symptoms stiffness in the wrist and potentially the fingers trouble gripping objects grasping or holding on holding on may be difficult or uncomfortable a clicking sound when moving the wrist this can be this can be more severe after periods of rest depending on the cause symptoms may be mild to start and become worse as time goes on at first pain may only occur during certain activities in time as the condition worsens pain might occur even at rest numbness can also progress to the point where a person cannot feel cold or heat and may drop things treatment and preven prevention of wrist pain treatment for wrist pain depends on the cause of the pain and its severity the list invents invents invasive treatment is given first before treatments are recommended they include home treatment often simply resting the wrist as much as possible to allow it time to heal is effective pain medication and ice may also be recommended to reduce inflammation and pain splints in some cases ordering a, a wrist splint can help splinting may prevent certain wrist movements that cause irritation a splint might also reduce squeezing of the nerve if you want to buy a wrist splint then there is an excellent selection online exercises depending on the type of pain wrist exercises may work certain exercises may be prescribed to stretch and lengthen muscles and tendons when it comes to which exercises to do patients should get recommendations from a doctor or physical therapist additional treatment cortisone injections which decrease inflammation and reduce pain can be effective surgery only used if less invasive treatments have not worked the type of surgery performed depends on the cause of the pain surgery for carpal tunnel syndrome involves cutting a ligament in the wrist to release pressure on the nerve treatments are undertaken by process of elimination until the condition is resolved physiotherapy may also help in some cases using proper posture when sitting at a work station and keep and keeping the wrists in a relaxed position considering a wrist friendly keyboard if long hours are spent at the keyboard learning how to use hand tools 
properly so less stress is placed on the hands and wrist taking regular breaks from using a keyboard using wrist guards to prevent injuries when participating in sports such as skateboard skateboarding snowboarding or roller blading when to see a doctor for wrist pain it's important to see a doctor if pain is interfering with everyday activities numbness or tingling is becoming worse and there is little or no feeling in the fingers or hand simple hand movements are no longer possible weakness makes holding things difficult complications of wrist pain can include weakness and decreased ability to carry out activities such as gripping objects and using a keyboard